don't even know if I'm saying the right thing right now because my feelings are all over the place. But that they have houses. Parks, parks. I'm sure they have parks. Yay! Do they have cars? I'm sure they have cars. Do they have buildings? I'm sure they have buildings. It would be fun! <laughs> such a good school day. The kids were so engaged and I was really excited and it was just it was just a day like full of struggling with my inner thoughts um, trying to fight that like that um, temptation to have to be on task. I don't even know if I'm saying the right thing right now because my feelings are all over the place but it's like that pull or expectation that you need to be at a certain place in a certain curriculum or whatever the case may be. It's just so opposite of genuine um, desire to learn that makes any sense and I just fight with that feeling of am I doing enough am I doing this right all day long and I guess I wanted to sit down and talk about it because I get a lot of messages and you know a lot of encouragement saying oh my gosh you make it look so easy or I'd love to be like in your classroom. I'd love to send your kids, my kids to your classroom. And that's all flattering and nice and good. It makes me feel really good for the moment. But then there's that, you know, annoying nagging voice in the background that says, oh my gosh, <laughs> if you only knew. Um, I only made it through a little bit more than half of what I planned today and I should be patting myself on the back and saying great job girl <laughs> because the kids like ate it up they loved it um, we were talking prepositions and object of the prepositions and similes and metaphors and um, onomatopoeia and alliteration and the kids were like having a blast and that's the goal right so it's supposed to be the goal, right? <laughs> I 
but just trying to control that nagging thought and I'm trying not to be emotional about it because it really isn't a big deal. It's just a matter of battling those thoughts and feelings and choosing the right thoughts and feelings. Like if you guys could just see my kids all day, like their appetite or their heart or their desire um, to learn is incredible. Um, which should be enough alone to say, Serena, you're doing a great job, right? It should be. <laughs> and yet, I'm still always looking for something else. I'm still always saying, well, how do they measure up? Or, oh, like most of the time I do a really good job fighting the temptation to measure them according to someone else's standards but um yeah sometimes I just get tired <laughs> it's like that little voice inside your head that says enough already like you know you're doing a good job and you can tell because the kids are flourishing and they love learning and that is the goal but um I don't know sometimes I just wish my days aren't such a fight ultimately I get through them ultimately the kids love learning they I mean they always end several points during the day they say things like oh my gosh this was so much fun um, and yet the thoughts still come <laughs> anyway so I'm currently trying to shake that off and tell you how the day went so I did really well following my plans um, just over planning which I do intentionally uh, because I plan heavily that very first week of a new unit and with the intention to spread things out but I always just it's just that buildup of excitement for all the things you have planned for them and then that realization that you're not going to get to everything that you planned right away. And I don't know, I get the kids pumped up and excited and they're like, are we going to get to this today? Are we going to get to that today? And in my mind, I'm just like, when is this homeschool day going to end? <laughs> I know. I know that sounds so bad, but it's so true. I mean, my kids are so pumped up about learning that it just feels like it never ends and that is probably a really great thing but to me some days it just feels really exhausting um for instance savannah has been so um elated about her progression in reading she basically has been breezing through one chapter book a day it's four books from the Sophie Mouse series and she just never wants to stop reading which <laughs> which I should be really excited about and I am but when I'm tired at the end of the day and she wants to be underneath my arm reading non-stop it gets tiring um so that's my struggle is how to get them to turn off that learning <laughs> device which obviously is not the goal it's just that i'm tired so um i'm currently trying to work my way through that and how to manage that um you guys know that i try so hard to um just give them everything they need to be able to continue on with whatever they are reading or writing or learning even when mommy needs to separate herself so that she can get some other work done or just have some time to myself but that struggle is so real um, and like I said ultimately that is the goal right to have your kids running up to you trying to ask you questions and, and to learn more and for them to let schoolwork bleed um, into all of the day if did that sound weird it probably did but um, it's tiring <laughs> it's tiring anyway I did want to tell you guys I think I was really I don't know I guess I just wanted to talk about how I was feeling um, 
and halfway through the fighting of those feelings, I just decided to trust the process yet again. I think that the the pressure, I don't know, there's like this invisible pressure um, sharing here on YouTube in our little homeschool community that I put on myself really, or maybe I don't put it on myself, but and I in no way, shape or form am saying that I do not want your questions, but um, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming because I try to communicate all the time that I don't know what I'm doing and this is my first time through and it's probably going to be my first time through all the way up until the end <laughs> because you know my first time doing first grade my first time doing second grade my first time doing third grade you know um, and sometimes I'm not as confident sharing any advice uh, about it because everything's my first time and I'm just doing what's best for me and what I find works for me but that pressure is there um, to have advice and to share certain things and I'm constantly fighting that um, because I just always want that voice that says what is best for us to be as loud as possible and to um, yeah be as loud as possible over any other thing anyway so I made it through half I made it through a bit more than half of what I planned for the day and we were just doing such a good job the kids had gotten to their IXL work um, doing some practice problems with prepositions and objects of the preposition and things like that um, spelling and their reading and I just kind of decided to let go of the rest of the day and I was so I feel so guilty about that because that happens quite often well more often than I would like is that I said I struggle to get to the last part of my day so I intentionally schedule the things not that they don't matter but the things that are extras quote-unquote for us I schedule them in the last part of the day just in case I don't get around to them um, but my goal has been to get around to them and every time I don't I get frustrated so um, I'm working on that to just remind myself that I'm doing a good job and it's okay and it will come in time but let me tell you my win for today um, so the second half of our day schedule pretty much got dropped off and I had to just choose to be okay with that but um, I don't know, I guess I wanted to get through more of my lessons. We did language arts today. Today is Monday and we did language arts. And I, I don't know, I just found myself really, really wanting to get through like two or three lessons. And I got through one lesson from the level three of our curriculum and one lesson from the level four of our curriculum with my boys. And then I didn't get around to any of the lessons with my daughter because she just wanted to paint. And um, she finished some of her work early and anytime they finish work early in a specific um, time frame, they get, they're considered an early finisher and get to choose what they would like to do from their morning baskets, basically any time of the day. So she chose to paint today and just so enjoyed it. And then so much so that her brothers joined in. And I just had to grab my camera because you guys know that's my therapy. Because I was so frustrated because I wanted to move along in the day. <laughs> but I grabbed my camera. I recorded instead and chose to see it differently. Um, they were just so enjoying um, painting together. So I went with the flow and I decided to just scratch the rest of the stuff that was on our list. We have been, like I said, working on prepositions and different figures, um, figurative language. And um, we, had, we had been working our way through the rest of the wild robot. I decided to scratch the rest of my plans for the day and finish the wild robot. So we are almost done.
<laughs> we're almost done and I just I guess I just wanted to share because I was excited how it panned out um, after scratching the rest of my day I decided to just really focus in on on the preposition and figurative language practice spelling vocabulary that type of thing so as I read I basically just um, selected certain sentences and started asking them um, what was the preposition what is the object of the preposition um, how do you spell this word how do you spell that word of course I chose more difficult words well I chose challenge words that were appropriate for each individual child and we had a lot of fun doing that you guys um, I guess that's why this is our book here I feel, I feel really grateful to have been led to that conclusion that, you know, and had that idea to just do a whole book here where our focus, if on nothing else, was just to read our way through some really great books. Um, so that, I've been doing well, Serena. <laughs> In doing that, I just realized how much you can actually learn from reading through these stories. Um, yeah, so I'll try to give you a little bit of an example. With his heavy limp and his grinding gears, Reko too was easy to track. The young bears caught up with him as he was entering a grove of pines, but they didn't attack, not yet. So they hung back and followed him across the mountainside. So I picked out one of the sentences. So they hung back and followed him across the mountainside. And I maybe asked my oldest son, where was the preposition and the object of the preposition? Maybe I asked my younger son, how do you spell mountainside? And then I throw in one for my daughter, how do you spell back? Um, and we did this throughout the remaining chapters. So it was really exciting. I feel like I let go of that frustration and that feeling of not completing the rest of my day. And I chose to go more with the flow. They wanted to paint. Um, my younger son, he wanted to keep on with IXL so he decided to cover the rest of his prepositions and then he started doing um, similes and metaphors and alliteration um, and idioms which we worked on last week so I guess this was just I don't know I guess I'm just trying to share an example of what happens when I plan I plan things out get really pumped about it and then I just have to fight that feeling um, of not doing enough or not sticking to a certain plan because I chose to go for what was natural and what I felt like was going to produce more joy in our homeschool and ultimately continue to cultivate that environment of true learning. And I guess in the rest of our reading time, we probably covered more than we could have covered if we just chose to stick to completing a couple more lessons in our curriculum. And that's the point, right? So this is me talking myself through this. Yes. <laughs> I guess I'm proud of myself. The thing about my homeschool journey is that I do a lot of encouraging myself. And the crazy part about it is that you never know um, you have, it's not a sure thing that what you're doing or what you're choosing at any given moment is right. I guess I just try to build a habit of looking for the fruit. Um, if I'm moving along in my day and they are growing and they are learning and they're progressing, that's fruit. And if they're not, if they're stuck, if we're all frustrated and annoyed and agitated and we're not getting anywhere, that's not fruit. I guess I just wanted to share to let you know that we're all in the same boat. We're trying stuff. We're fighting those fears and those frustrations and that feeling of never being enough. Um, and we're pressing through and seeing fruit and all that other stuff. So, <laughs> uh, I 
should do like Erica from My Busy Bees and Meet Us. And she says, happy homeschooling. Doesn't she say that? Or she says, happy homeschool hump day. That's on Wednesdays. Anyway, random because I'm tired. I'm going to be starting to share more and more of my planning videos, but I want to make it clear that planning is just a formality. Is that the right word? I do it to help me keep up with my records and to just kind of show up and get all of my ideas out on paper. But 95.8% of the time, I am totally going with the flow. I am completely going with the flow and listening to my children. So if they want to paint, we paint and I find a way to fit into their mode of exploration and discovery because you know that is those are my two favorite things um if they want to write we write so i'm trying not to beat myself up too much about not completing my plans for today yeah that was how i encouraged myself these are the kind of chit chat talks i have with myself and at the end i decide that I'm convinced that I'm the right teacher for them. <laughs> I mean, but really, if you don't encourage yourself, yeah, homeschooled, it goes downhill from there. <laughs> ah, I think that's probably the biggest piece of advice I would have in this homeschooling journey is that you have to learn how to be clear about your why and be committed to encouraging yourself along the way. Yeah, I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's more snippets of wise information from many different homeschool moms who are way further along than I am. But if I had to contribute, that's what I would say, to be clear about your why and be committed to encouraging yourself every single day and then look for the fruit <laughs> yeah that was how my day went the kids are currently off at their practices kendall is at jiu-jitsu cameron is at soccer and savannah is hanging with daddy while they wait for them to be finished so i get about 45 minutes to an hour of quiet time on mondays just to sit and think and do anything else that I need to do so I'm gonna finish clean the kitchen you guys and then I'm also going to download this footage and try to edit it so thank you guys for listening to me chit chat ah, you guys okay bye bye